Okay, let's go out here and take a look at something. Uh, all righty, there it is. A little, looks like a test tube there. Looks like what, water in it? Well, we'll find out in a moment. <clears throat> Actually, uh, this, uh, you know, isn't water. It's a clear liquid, yeah. Okay, so you can see it slotching there. But, uh, yeah, let's take a, see if we can take a look and see, you know, what this really is. All right, it's liquid water, watery looking stuff right now, but let's do this. Well, I don't know if I can do that or not. Probably going to take some gloves here. Let me get some gloves and see if I can do it. Maybe I can get a better bite with these gloves here. Let's see. Nope. Not so sure I can do that either. So let me try something else. Perhaps I can get a little better bite on it with uh, these vice grips here. Let's see. I don't want to crack the plastic, but uh, yeah, let's just see if I can do that. Wow. Man, that is really, really hard to grip. I don't understand it. <clears throat> Well, let me uh, let me grab something else. Let's see if this will help get a good bite on it here. I don't know. Ah, yes it did. So now what do we have in there? Instead of uh, liquid water, <laughs> we have dry ice. Okay, so uh, had a uh, fizz gives uh, cap on there. And uh, this is a uh, plastic injection molded uh, product known as a preform that um, is used to make uh, plastic soda bottles and you know other kinds of things. Polyethylene terephthalate, uh, or uh, I forget what it uh, is. Maybe that's it. PET. That's the sure name for it. And no, this is not snow. This is 109 degrees below zero. Fahrenheit uh, dry ice <sighs> so uh, yeah now how do you do that well you get a you get a piece of dry ice out of uh, out of here let me show you uh, here you go there's a couple little pieces here let's we'll try those On so my dry ice won't go away so fast. So you uh, get yourself a uh, one of these and you put some dry ice in it. Okay, and you cap it off. And, you know, you give it a couple of minutes. It's pretty chilly out here right now. But, 
you know, after a couple of minutes or so go by, this uh, will turn from a solid, you know, into a liquid. Probably help it if I try to warm it up just a little bit, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not going to, you know, do too much about that. Okay. Takes a little while for, for it to happen whenever it's cold, so... And that sounds like a great idea there. Beat it, beat it so the thing will explode and blow up in my hand. The vapor pressure of this stuff, uh, you know, is something like about 850 PSI at, you know, room temperature, 70, 75 degrees in the house. But out here, where we're, uh, you know, at 23 degrees today, it's more like uh, about... Uh, I say 23, 23 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, okay. It's more like about, uh, uh, those scratchy marks I made with this sort of messed up the view. But it, uh, if you can see it, it is uh, liquid now. And once again, I don't know <laughs> if I can actually get a good sufficient grab on this thing to uh, open it again. I may have to use the uh, pliers once more, but we'll see. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Nope, nope, it's turning. Okay, so we'll grab it again to see here. There you go. I think we got it. There it is, yeah. Okay. Oh, oops, there went the cap. Bye bye, Fizgius cap. Back from liquid to solid. So, uh, yeah, that's something, uh, you know, you can do if you're feeling froggy one day. Might uh, be the first uh, time you ever get to actually see liquid uh, CO2. And, uh, usually it's inside of a steel or an aluminum uh, high pressure tank but uh, this is suitable uh, to hold 400 psi without a problem